You guys are all not going to believe this. Toronto FC has made a signing. I know, I didn't think this could happen either. Kevin Lawn, 33-year-old Irish center back, has been signed by Toronto FC from Birmingham City in the English Football League Championship. The center back position was a big cause for concern for Toronto FC last season. They brought in Matt Hedges at the beginning of the season. He came as advertised, but then left mid-season. And following his departure, the back line for Toronto FC looked very weak. And now it seems they are trying to remedy that by bringing in veteran experienced defender Kevin Lawn. 33, six foot two, solid physical presence defender. Kevin Lawn has experience playing in the Premier League with Burnley Championship with Burnley and Birmingham City, and also has had loan spells with several other clubs in the English League One and League Two. On top of that, he has made 17 appearances for the Irish national team, the most recent coming in 2020. Now, Kevin Lawn coming in a Toronto FC team, is a 33 year old player and that is a problem and i know a lot of people are saying well that's such a video game take to think a guy in their early 30s is washed i don't have a problem with kevin Lawn being 33 years old i think that he could come in play three four seasons at a very high level for toronto fc and be good for the immediate future for toronto fc the problem i have with kevin Lawn is that at 33 years old he's only made 227 professional senior appearances kevin Lawn has only played one full professional season in his career where he's been a regular player game Game in game out the entire season and that happened in 2011-12 when he made 26 appearances for Accrington Stanley on loan and 16 more on loan for Rochdale. Since that season which was 12 years ago he's only made 20 appearances twice in a season traditionally being a 10 to 15 appearance a season guy. Now that's a problem because in terms of coming in and being an every game player for Toronto FC this guy doesn't really have the pedigree of that he hasn't been an every game player pretty much ever in his career. He's been a depth player. He hasn't really had significant injury problems, but he has had some injury problems. And that's the type of signing where like, experienced player who can come in off the bench or start the odd game, big game for you in MLS. Like that's a great signing if you're a top five club in MLS who's pushing for an MLS Cup. If you're Toronto FC who came last in the league last season and you need a guy to anchor your back line for 34 games plus playoffs, whatever, a guy who has not made more than 20 appearances in a season since 2012 doesn't seem like the best option. Now, I may be wrong, he may be up to the task for that, but it's not a guy who has the pedigree of being a every game, game in, game out, gonna be healthy, gonna be ready to go, every game, game in, game out signing. And what Toronto FC needs is an experienced, solid, physical presence on the back end who's gonna be there game in, game out. It just reeks of another win now signing, which has been all that Toronto FC's done in recent years and just has not been working for us. The team is bad. The team needs a new overhaul, a new core group to build around. It doesn't need quick, stop gap, plug fixes every time. And every single signing Toronto FC seems to have made in recent years is a quick plug signing. And it just continues to not work. So you like, again, this guy could be great. This guy could come in, give three, four great years to Toronto FC, or he could go the way of basically every other signing we've had, have injury problems, have our medical staff not be able to take care of him, fall off into irrelevancy and basically have his career end. Now, I hope that doesn't happen, but it's very much a possibility in the realm of Toronto FC. Like, I have no doubt that Kevin Long can be a very good center back in Major League Soccer. It's the 34 times a season can he be a very good center back in Major League Soccer that I'm not convinced about. And that is what Toronto FC needs. So on top of Davey Flores and Tyree Spicer, who was the first overall pick in the MLS Super Draft, this is now the third addition to Toronto FC's team this season with the season starting this weekend. The team needed a lot of overhaul. The team had a lot of holes that needed to be filled. One of them was center back and this is a center back. So maybe things are gonna be a little bit better right now. I still doubt it. A lot needs to be improved on this team and you know, maybe John Herdman can get the players that we currently have to do it. But so far with where we are with the signings we've made this off season and where we are heading into the season, I'm not incredibly optimistic. So that is for this video. As always, if you like to hit like, if you wanna see more of my stuff, hit subscribe, follow my Twitter link is down below in the description and I will see you next time.